My name is Cornelius Sharkey, or Sharkey to my friends. I hate that name. I'm a marine biologist, was a marine biologist. A great white put an end to that. It was my passion. The idea of looking down at this strange world below always intrigued me. As jobs go, it wasn't the most lucrative, and money has never been an issue for me. It certainly wasn't marine biology that got me this apartment. And it wasn't just this apartment. I owned every apartment in the block, and half the blocks in this town for that matter. Not bad for a man with no arms. Not bad at all. Not good enough for her though. It was all about the looks for her. At least, that's what I thought. What I didn't know was that deep down a part of her wanted me. She was turned on by success, by power. Her man was a nobody, a schmuck. He worked a dead end job for minimum wage. Half of which went straight into my pocket to cover his rent. There was so much sadness in those beautiful green eyes. She deserved so much more than what he offered her. She settled. She settled her fear she'd end up lonely. She would have left him in a heartbeat, if she could have. She would have left him for me. But in the world we live in, it's better to end up with a bum than a cripple. She wanted him out of the picture as much as I did and I knew she was getting closer and closer to doing it. But I couldn't let that happen. Prison was no place for a girl like her. Sure, he could mock me with his arms. He'd pretend to act civil in front of her, but he hated me as much as I hated him. He would have killed me if he got half a chance. But I was always two steps ahead of him. But what I didn't know at the time was she was one step ahead of both of us. The routine never changed. He would walk home and arrive at 5.15 every evening without fail. She worked further away and had to take the bus. The bus didn't reach our street until 6.00. He'd be long gone by then, and so were the evidence. They couldn't accuse her if she weren't there. The only person they could blame was me. And what jury in the world is going to believe that a guy with no arms pulled the trigger? They'd think he shot himself. Her and I would go free. She'd be angry at first because that's the type of woman she is. She didn't want no man doing her dirty business for her. At least that's what I believed. Little did I know she'd been playing both of us the whole time. For fuck's sake, Connor. Is this what you've been doing all day? What's he doing? Is he doing the no arms thing again? He's covered the place in string. Yeah, he's doing the no arms thing again. <sighs> Job one went well then. What do you think? I said, contemplating whether or not I'm Who's he him. talking to? And why is he putting on that voice? I've absolutely no idea. Uh, did you get a job? Oh, get a job, Connor. Clean up your mess, Connor. Pay his rent, Connor. Sure, why not build the burning wall while you're at it, Connor? Are you going to clean this shit up, Connor? Relax. I'll do it later. Here, can we go for a pint first before you get settled? You better clean this up later, Connor. I'm serious. Oh, I will. I told her what you wanted to hear, but we both knew right, that. Connor, if you keep doing that voice, I'm not going. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did you, did you have any interviews today at all? Sure, there's no jobs out there for any man. I'm trying my hardest, like. Fucking recession, man.